Well, I'm going to see if I can repeat the uh, experiment this time in the daylight. I was watching a little bit of the first video I did in the vlog of, you know, last night. I was like, wow, that's, <laughs> that's kind of eerie shit, man. <laughs> you know, this embodied voice, and then every once in a while I see the ghost of the face, you know. And then the red light, too, like, oh. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'm talking about with my friend right now. What were we talking about? Um, it, so this is part of how my sociological... Uh, observation part of my brain works. I look at group dynamics. How does a group function? How does a group work together? Um, because you know, one of the guys mentioned, one of the guys I was talking to mentioned, you know, you know, you guys are a group and you guys are competing, but you're all helping each other. And uh, and he's like, it's it's weird. It's very weird to see that because normally you just see people they, they get real defensive with each other they, and you know. Uh, they, they, they look up ch- upon each other as enemies, but in this situation, everybody looked upon each other as, uh, you know, like, really as already winners. You know, that was a neat thing, is that, you know, and a lot of them said that, too. They said, you know, I just wanted to walk forward and do this thing, you know, and it's like, you know, I don't expect to get on the show, but this is just my idea. This is just my thing, and I, I really dig it, and I want to share it, you know, with the world. Uh, I mean, it's, it's like so this weird, noble aspect. Uh, it's kind of like how... Uh, you know, what if what do people perform in the circus? And why do they perform for you know for years and years? You know, why do the guys uh, like in Cirque du Soleil? How, you know, why do they get so good at you know contorting their bodies? And so, and the reason why is because uh, you know it becomes such an art form. It becomes such a thing that uh, you know, you can turn your body into art. You know, and uh, but uh, I'm just not that interested in the human form in that way. So it's, it doesn't entertain me. But I, I can see if you. If you dig art and you dig, you know, just like, you know, artistic things, yeah, Cirque du Soleil would be a perfect way to go. Um, and, you know, this is a neat thing to watch, too. Um, what else? The... <sighs> Anyways, um, so, in the aspect of yesterday with, uh, who wants to be a superhero... Everybody is pretty friendly with each other. And especially in the sense that, you know, once you got up there, you were nervous. And, you know, that's part of why, like, you, you forget the first thing, you speak to the microphone, you know, like, you know, be eating it, so. Um, and also, you know, pronounce. But uh, in my case, yeah, just sudden adrenaline rush. So I'm like, I'm, I'm suddenly hyper all of a sudden. I'm like, you know, you know the, the uh, fight or flight uh, panic mode. Which, uh, you know, which I knew would happen. But the thing is, I knew that would happen, and I faced it anyway. I did it anyway. So, that's part of the, the heroism of it. That's been, like that's kind of the first step. Is like, you, you admit to a group of people, say, hey, I want to be a superhero. You know, I, I, I would like that distinction among you, you know, my fellow people. But, because uh, it, it has this very, you know, it's a very literal, but it's also a very unique aspect to approach it. In that, um, you know, it's to gain the esteem, to gain gain known as he, and, and it's a different kind of celebrity as well because uh, there was a lot of awe in little kids and even in some uh, like 12 year old kids yesterday and then even like some adults they got into it too they, they wanted uh, they wanted their picture taken with uh, the guys in costume you know they had no idea who these guys were and actually and they understood that too I think a lot of them they, 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 they watched the show you know they knew what uh, it was going on and they got a kick out of that they said this is just a cool thing this is a cool social thing um, because something else is that, like I said, this is artwork that these people put, you know, put together in their costumes and in their characters. So this is them displaying their art, you know, and for free to an audience that actually could dig that art, you know. So that's that's uh, another, you know, shout out promo for uh, you know wrestling, professional wrestling, is that it's a form of art, you know, because it's it's a symphony of you know dueling personalities, and they are uh, you know for your entertainment. You know, they use their bodies for entertainment. That's, I mean, so guess what? Cirque du Soleil and a link to uh, seven degrees of separation from uh, uh, professional wrestling. So, I mean, I dig it. <laughs> and I dig wrestling too. So, um, oh, goodness. So, we're thrown together as a group, men and women, varying degrees of dress, varying. Varying degrees of, you know, kind of like, do they want their identity known? Do they not want their identity known? 
uh, how fanciful is their uh, creation. You know, it's it, it, all these different aspects, but we really everybody saw eye to eye. Nobody looked down upon each other. You know, because that's something else. And you're in any society, you're going to have creative people. Uh, or any community, you're going to have creative people. And you know what? You really, sh- you really should embrace those people because those people are, you know, like the oddball people who write poetry and sing, you know, make up songs. Uh, they, they are creative, and, and they're going to bring that creativity to, you know, how they influence the rest of society. You know, so that's why uh, Shakespeare took off, is because, you know, he was creating something uh, for the entertainment of, a, of his peers. And, uh, you, know, oops, you know, here's an interesting uh, history fact. The Globe Theater of Shakespeare was built outside of the city wall of London. You know what else is built outside of the city wall of London? Bars, taverns, brothels, bear baiting uh, pits. You know, gambling houses. You know, it's you know the the globe was considered dregs of society. Actors were never given sanctified uh, Christian burials for like centuries. You're like okay, and, and the thing is, even the glorified actors, even even like the people who like they they they, what they really dug was you know entertaining their fellow man, like Beethoven. You know, if you if that's the way uh, that uh, movie could be interpreted. Because, I mean, I think he really got off on the fact that he made music and people loved it, you know. Uh, and he could affect positively people this way. And when he wanted to diversify and, and kind of do some other things with people, that's when, you know, the Duke cut off the funding. He said, hey, sorry, buddy. So, and they got, so they have no patronage, they have no skills, there's not enough people to, you know, put on these uh, symphony concerts. Um, so that's the other thing. I, I don't think they, they charged for these things. It wasn't until later that people actually can start paying. Because uh, for one thing, they had small audiences. When you can get together a large enough audience, that's when you can support you know, more arts. So, yeah, that's a plug for uh, you know, widescreen entertainment. But anyways, of course, that could also be misinterpreted as using that, that form of entertainment to promote a certain uh, view on things. Anyway, that's a whole other uh, argument. I'm talking about who wants to be a superhero, right? <laughs> um, so I'm excited. You know, my adrenaline's you know running when I get up and speak to everybody. It's a crowd of people. I have to address them. I have to face that fear, and I have no shielding. I'm saying average Joe, but you know, it's no. You know, I'm I'm me. You know, and, and it's, it, this is who it is. This is you. This could be any of you. That's, you know, this neat, you know, like I said, it's just a neat little thing. Even just doing that, you know, kind of one thing. Well, I'm going to put it on YouTube, and hopefully all these people are going to watch it, and then some people are going to see that, and they'll be like, hey, I, I did what this guy did. Just get in front of people and say, you know, I want to be a superhero. I don't need a costume. I don't need, you know, pretend to be somebody else. I'll, just be, I'll be myself, you know? And it's like, you know, and then there's all these different ways to be heroes, in, you know, in your own way. Like, uh, for myself... You know, what I forgot to add was that, uh, or should have mentioned, was that I feel like I'm affecting my community. I've been writing letters to the editor. I, in fact, I got a lot in there. But it's like, I, I, need, I need more published, you know, well, hopefully. But it's like, I just wanted to establish myself in my community as a voice. And as a voice of reason. And, you know, and also a voice of encouraging thought. You know, because I really don't like people who say, you should not think about this. Unless they're talking about, like, really bad negative things, you know, or like, uh, chain, trains of thought that will generate the negative um, uh, repercussions. Like, you know, basically you, you make people think bad negative things through a certain train of thought. Like, you know, it's, the way you do it is you ask questions to people. And it's like they're kind of rhetorical questions, but they're questions you're asking them yourself, but they're for your audience. And you ask them in such a way, and this is like the masters of articulation and uh, uh, speech making. They can really, you know, it amazes you when they can do this stuff. Um, it's just, you know, I guess the guys who have that, they're politicians, and yeah, for a good reason. You know, it's good to listen. It's good to listen to a guy who knows, who's smart and who knows how to, you know, work the words. Because if he knows how to work the words, he knows how to get what he wants out of people. You know, because he knows how to manipulate people too. I mean, that, that's just the aspect. You know, you, you need a guy who basically he knows how to conquer in some ways or he knows how to get what he gets what he wants and the way he does that is through influence through power and clout you know but it's like he, he can basically you know he can put the lean on people and get a job done 
that's a good president. You know, some guy who can just, you know, he, he can be friendly, you know, and just, and, yeah, just get the job done, you know. 